ladies and gentlemen. All right, I just uh, dropped my wife off at the train station. Now back to home. All right, back at the headquarters at home. Uh, so wife had to work today, it's Saturday. And um, we got a lot to do today. So I thought I'd take you guys with me and see what we can get done. Mm. I just wish it was done. So first off, this whole garage is a big mess. And, um, well, because of the engine, of course, that we've been making for the past few months. Now, uh, I've got a bunch of these cabinets. You can see one already over there. Which way should I put this? And we're gonna build the next one here. Then we have wall cabinets and uh, tool rats for the wall but uh we'll have to clean up this whole mess here and oh yeah we also have a lot of these um you know just signs that i want to put on the wall since there's only one that's the old michelin sign that i found from a flea market somewhere uh that is a genuine genuine article these are just you know reproduction things but i thought they'd look pretty nice on the wall anyways and um uh, that's pretty much the schedule for today so the cabinets on the wall uh on the floor maybe paint some stuff get all the things on the wall here and um let's see if we can try try and get the um get the speakers up on the wall also i don't know if i had time to um run all the cables for the speakers on the ceiling but um we'll see how how it goes also if we have time we're gonna take off the front axle from the Vauxhall viva that's just outside i just hope it doesn't rain today so yeah, let's get to it. I'll put the um, security camera on follow mode and I think we'll get a okay time lapse from it. So yeah, let's get started. So we come across the first problem, which is um, mounting the tabletop onto the two cabinets. I've searched the box and it didn't have the hardware. So when the uh, shop opens at maybe eight, nine or 10, I don't know, we'll have to get the hardware for this. I do have to get some wine glasses from some person somewhere because conveniently my wife has um, made arrangements for my scheduling on a Saturday. So I think at the same time, we might get close to a um, hardware store and I can buy the stuff for this. Now, I think before we go, we have to get at least one of the um, wall, wall thingies over there. Uh, not mounted, but uh, at least gathered up so I can see what other hardware I'm missing. So, yeah, let's get back to it. Actually, I think I might have found them. They are here. I just had to test that they actually do fit on the underside of the thing. I'm sorry about the news. It gets, it's 1930s jazz that's going on in this, this place. So let's take these away and see how they fit. You know, when you do something dumb, like uh, before you put the top on, put a box in here that that's too big there we go opened up the box inside inside there and got the brembo brake pads out okay so that's i think stage one complete the camera is trying to pick up on me uh we put that cap in there 
Now we have the hole, well, you know, the top right there, and it's made out of this kind of uh, stainless steel kind of thing with, um, I think, like a, kind of a wooden interior, some kind of stuff, MDF board, I guess. So we have all kinds of stuff just thrown in here at the moment. We'll have to see, uh, we'll have to put like a little label somewhere so we know what's in all of them. And also I have to paint these to match this color and the uh, top ones to match this color. But uh, yeah, I think the next thing is to put the, or start on the, one of the cabinets to see where they will land. So I know where the tool, tool wall thingy will come. And then we'll have to, of course, match the colors on those two. First one of the upper cabinets done. Now, I think it was quite easy when I got a hang of the uh, instructions. They were a bit messy. I mean, they're just weird in a way, you know? Since like this, this is uh, this way here, but then on this picture, it's like rotated 365 and a half degrees somewhere. So it doesn't make sense when you look at the pictures, but uh, anyways, this is the cabinet that fits nicely. You know, I can fit a five liter classic motor oil thing right there. And it's it's got a lot of space. And for comparison, I don't have a banana for scale, but uh, it would be like this big, let's say. Now these doors, I found out that they have this little springy thing here, which is cool. I mean, I can just pull it off like this. Let's see if I can get it. There we go, one handed back. That means I can easily take this off for painting. So we can pretty much, you know, just mount this on the wall and afterwards paint the doors if we don't have the time today. Don't mind all the mess, but, um, that's one done. Second one was done. That was like three minutes of work and that's, that's nice. So I don't know what the time is right now, but, um, you know, I was thinking that we're still going to need probably to go to the hardware store to get some concrete anchor thingies for these. But, uh, I think we need to open still the, the ones, the tool racks that come on the wall. So we can see what the, the size of those are. Also, I noticed I haven't painted the sides of the roof still. So I'll have to paint at least the places that get go under. So I'll have to cover all this stuff up and um, continue from there. Now that I opened up one of these tool walls, I noticed that there's uh, two mounting points like these, which correspond to the mounting points here and here. Now, if I were to put it uh, behind the wall cabinet, it would be uh, 68 centimeters, which, uh, <clears throat> which if we, uh, mount them through, if we mount them through the cabinet, then that's the amount that's hidden. And um, that would leave just about this amount of space for tools. So I'm thinking we mount them all cabinets first, and then we uh, mount these under, under the wall cabinet, like, you know, physically under like like this like from how <laughs> much not under this but under this you know not behind under yeah a little bit of ceiling paint and uh we'll need to wait for it to dry as you can see it's still not painted around but the place where the uh, cabinets will come that's painted i'll just need to rip out the uh Rip out the tapes when everything dries up. Uh, I painted it pretty much all the way over there. And uh, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. I went to the uh, hardware store, found some scrubbing pads for cheap. Uh, then I found these. They're supposed to take 570 kilograms. So I think these will be good for the uh, upper cabinets. I might use these for just, you know, these as they were supposed to hold like 170 kilograms. Then a bit of tape. And of course this wall is concrete or something. So we'll need to cut through it with some concrete drills. So I don't know if there's the right way to do this, but um, I took some of the masking tape, put it, um, put it with this line all the way to the other side. Then I punctured the holes here and there. Then, um, yeah, I trimmed the pieces so they were just, just the right size. And now I should have a template that's gonna allow me to have the top on the same uh, place where that thing is. It should be level since I <laughs> leveled it with a level and the tape. Hopefully it's it's okay. So now we just have to drill the holes. But I'd say I'm pretty happy with the sketch here. Um, installation. <laughs> it's straight and level. I still need to get the uh, wall mount, you know. Um, what do you call it? Titan. And of course I um, knocked over the white bucket of paint and it's all over the floor yeah i guess i'll just let it dry and then it comes off as one piece at least because it's the uh what do you call it the floor is has so much dust on it so the paint won't stick to the floor at least that's what i'm hoping so that's that'll stay there for the next few days and then we can just peel it off yeah, I think that looks okay. And I can still reach up there very nicely. And I guess I was thinking about uh, having the uh, uh, center speaker mounted to the uh, to the wall. But then I was thinking maybe I should put it either up there or maybe down there. Because if I'm working here, I'd rather have the music play here than up there. And then you have the left and right speakers and the rear speakers still, and the subwoofer. So, yeah, I guess I'll maybe mount it under the cabinet. And so I got, got that one pretty good in there, but this one, this one's just going around. I'm not really sure what to do because I can't get it out. I can pull the cabinet this way, but it's far the hole, you know, inside. So, uh, Maybe I, there's, you can see one hole right there. I might just do it right there and on the other, other side. I'm not sure. And it's getting dark outside. So that means I can't get the other front axle from the outside. So that'll have to be tomorrow's thing. So there goes the whole fucking weekend. Okay, so this is what it looks like from now. Looks kind of like a kitchen from here with all this mess around. But uh, I'll need to get my wife to hold the tool thing for me when I get the whole thing is under there. So, you know, because I don't have any other friends here. So I need to get these drilled somewhere up here so it but this area here will be filled with tools also and this can just slide over oh these are you know i can reach these good since i can almost reach the ceiling here this is good and i have the uh, the um, 
thing is here it's a climb ladder and uh yeah this was really um dumb project i don't suggest taking on such a project by yourself um yeah i guess that's pretty much it i'm not gonna clean anything from here press the like button if you like these kinds of videos with doing stuff we're gonna continue with the car maybe tomorrow maybe next year i don't know i don't really have any i haven't really scheduled anything here so i'm just winging everything okay so it's sunday and as i thought the paint dries up you know it's it's not fully yet uh, dry, but once it dries all the way, I can just pick it off the floor. Great thing to have a dusty floor, at least now. So I'm gonna fill up uh, the cabinets now with all kinds of stuff that I have laying around. And uh, then I guess we'll head on over to the Viva to take the front axle away. So, as I'm looking at the front axle here on the Vivo, I think it's just connected by these two bolts here, and here, and down there. I looked at it from the underside and I didn't see anything else that it would be attached to. Of course, I'll have to take off the steering, steering thingy, but I think it might just come off from there and it will pull out. front axle here and now there's no axle on the car oh that was heavy yeah. I noticed that when I hold the um, phone it crackles because I have a leather case on it but um I'll try and figure out something better for it so or just use the uh, uh, um, external microphone on it so it wouldn't crackle as much but yeah that's pretty much how my weekend went getting dark again and um, I don't really have energy <laughs> to do anything else it's um, pretty much this video when it's done I'm, I'm just gonna probably head to bed and listen to a podcast and go to sleep tomorrow it's Monday, and I'll have to wake up at 4 to um, get working again. So if you want to leave a comment down in the comment section, or, or you know, just leave a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm for other people to find the video, it's all appreciated, and I, I like reading the comments. It's always fun for, you know, both sides to read. <laughs> read the, through the comments. I like to read other people's comments also in other videos. And, um, yeah. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.